Hey, what's going on, everybody? First and foremost, thank you all for helping me get to 40,000 subscribers. I just want to thank every single one of y'all, and that's that. So in this video, what we're going to do is create another CG element inside Reality Capture. I went on a trip with a family to Lake Tahoe a couple weeks back, and I was walking along this path, and I saw this beautiful rock, and I said, hmm. So I grabbed my phone and started taking pictures around and uh, hoping to get that scanned in and turned into a CG model that I can use in Unreal Engine 5. Now, I know previously I've said iPhones, but you do not absolutely need an iPhone for this. It doesn't use any LiDAR. Like, Reality Capture is doing all of that. All you need to do is find a phone or use a phone that can take pictures. That is it. You don't need anything else, okay? So that being said, let's go ahead and begin. I'm gonna be using the tutorial here because this is freaking awesome. I wish all, all the softwares uses this step-by-step -step guide. So let's go to our folder right here and let's find that folder, okay? Already got it selected right here. It's called The Rock. And that's gonna load up 228 images that I took that day. So you can see right here. This was shot with an iPhone 12 mini. But like I said, you do not need an iPhone device to do this. There's no LiDAR whatsoever. So let's go ahead and align. Okay, it looks like it finished in two minutes. All right. So let's change our view here. There's a workflow here. So I'm going to go right here. Sorry, right here. Just to change the view so you see a little bit better. And right here, I'm going to do the help. So we can go back. Not con, but help. Okay. So we have the point cloud, and the next thing to do is I'm going to click next. I already did that. I already aligned it. We're going to go ahead and it's just telling me how to move around pretty much left click. I'm going to continue, set the ground plane. Now this is actually sitting pretty on the ground, so I'm happy with that. Continue, and now we're going to reconstruct. I'm going to go to calculate model right here. We're going to do a little more quality. All right, so it looks like it's done with actually creating the model from the cloud point system. And it looks pretty good. Obviously, we're going to do a little bit of cleanup because really, I just want the rock right here. I just wanted Dwayne Johnson about right here. Okay, so let's do some cleanup. I'm going to go to tools and let's do a lasso tool. I use this quite a bit. I'm going to draw a circle around that area. All right, and I'm going to click invert and then we'll filter. So we want to keep just the selection. And that should get rid of a lot of junk. Okay, looks pretty good. Now, let's get a little bit tighter here. Now, this is going to be a part of uh, an environment anyway, so we don't need too much. We just want the rock. Okay, here we go. Let's do invert again, and we'll filter that as well. Awesome. Okay, and what we'll do is we'll go to advance. I'm going to select the largest connected component. It's going to select the big chunk, and I'm going to invert that. And as you can see, it's going to select little small ones that are just kind of floating around, call them the floaties. And we will filter them so we can get rid of them. Now, you're going to see we have a hole down here, but that's okay because we're going to put it on top of uh, an environment anyway, like I said. Looks pretty good. I mean, obviously, you can keep working on it if you want. But for the sake of this tutorial, we are good here. Let's smooth it out. And I'm just going to select noise removal. Okay, and as you can see, it kind of closed some holes a little bit. And if you go to component right here, you're going to see we have component 0, model 6. We have 19.6 million triangles now. And the original was 22.5. So we got rid of quite a bit. Now let's close some tools out so we're not confused right here. Click on next. We already computed the model, saw the reconstruction already, and now we're going to have to texture this. Okay, so as you can see, it's still 19.6 million triangles. That's still quite a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to simplify it, unwrap it, and then texture it, okay? So we're in model 6 right now. I'm going to go to my uh, model right here, sorry, and we're going to clean it right here. Perfect, and that's going to create another piece, which is still 19.6. All right, let's see what else. We're not going to unwrap it just yet because, like I said, I'm going to have to simplify it first. So I'm going to simplify tool right here. We're going to do 10 million absolute. 
We're going to do an absolute 10 million. That means we're going to shrink this 19.6 million triangles into an absolute 10 million. Okay. And we're going to have normal reprojection. Enable it right here as well. Reprojection. Why couldn't I say that? Okay. And then let's just simplify this. Okay. So here we go. Simplify now to 10 million triangles. It's a lot of triangles. Okay. So let's unwrap this model here. Let's go to mesh model. Unwrap. And I'm going to disable this so it doesn't confuse people. And what we'll do is I'm going to leave everything by default. This is okay here. Two 8Ks. 10. 10. Let's unwrap this. Perfect. And now we will texture this. Okay. It looks like it's finished texturing. And this looks unreal absolutely looks amazing 10 million triangles now let's look at the textures here now what we're gonna do next is actually we project that normal map from the original because i want a normal map of this and as you can see we do have some holes but like i said i'm gonna place this on a on an environment anyway we're gonna bury it pretty much all right, so what we'll do now is do a projection. So go to tools and we're going to go to reprojection right here. Texture reprojection. I'm going to disable that tool again so it's not too confusing right here. All right, and then we'll change this to eight. So we're going to take the normal from the first and we'll bring it to eight. Normal reproject and enable. And let's reproject. So that's done. So you can see now we have this colorful rock now. And if we go to model eight, you can see that there's actually a color layer and a normal layer, so that's good. Okay, so let's go ahead and export this here. So I'm going to go to Workflow, click on Export, and we're going to export this as an OBJ. So just do OBJ. Now this is a new way on how to export it. It looks kind of weird. <laughs> I actually don't like how this is done, but it's whatever. I'm going to choose this one, and I'm going to save this to to Blender, because like I said, we're going to have to round trip this to Blender. Okay, and I think this is gonna cost me like a dollar seventy-five, which I already paid for. Everything is good. Okay, texturing settings. Yes, press OK, and this is gonna export this. And in Blender, we're gonna go ahead and file import, and it should be wavefront OBJ. Grab this OBJ right here, and this is gonna take a minute because it's ten million triangles. That's a lot. So we have this big file, and I'm going to rotate it to zero so that it's facing the correct way. And what I'll do is I'm going to turn this light off and just select it, file, export, FBX, put it in the same folder, but we will create a new folder here and just name it UE5. I'm going to double click this and rock UE5 Lake Tahoe. I'm going to do the mesh. I'm not going to make any animation. We don't need that. So export. All right. So here we go. Let me go ahead and minimize this and open up Unreal 5. This is a scene that I was kind of messing around with. I know it's a lot of folders here because it's kind of like my mess around folder or project. Created a folder here, Tahoe Rock. And we're just going to drag and drop this here. All right. And let's go ahead and import this. Okay. So here we are. Here's our Lake Tahoe Rock. Wow. I maximized this thing. And wow. This thing is crazy. 10 million. That looks really good. And what I'm going to do, since this is Unreal Engine 5, I'm going to nanite this. So I'm going to double click this. And I'm going to do 100% and apply the changes. And this is going to turn this into nanite. Nanite enabled. Now, before I actually thought the whole megapixel war was kind of dumb, but when it comes to cameras with high megapixels, I think that's actually useful for photo scanning because this is a cell phone and as you can see from up close it's really not that detailed but can you imagine actually taking the time you know photo scanning this rock with a high megapixel camera all right so that took a little while to finish but as you can see it's still 10 million triangles right here to save this i right, minimize this now and we're going to drag and drop it in our scene and as you can see, it is huge. So let's cut it in half. Maybe even more. There you go. Maybe like a 0 0.2. Maybe even 0.1. Because it was a really small rock to begin with. So I have a camera set up here. 
if I go to the cinematics, Iceland, I do have a camera set up already. But what I'll do is actually switch this over so we can kind of move it around the camera area. And that is still really big. So I have a rock already in the foreground there. So what I'll do is just kind of move that to the side. And this is the beauty of Unreal. You know, you can just kind of like, oh, rock, you know, move, move out of the way. So we'll put it in focus. Just like so. And now you have this nice looking rock. And as you can see, like I said there, what you can do is just kind of just bury that if you want. You know, rotate it a little bit and just find the best spot that you want to use as far as the rock goes. That looks amazing. Again, from a cell phone camera, we created this asset. It is still a little bit too big. Just scale it, kind of like the same scaling as the real life one. And just drag and drop it in there. Okay, let's zoom in here a little bit and just really get in there. I mean, creating something like this, you know, from scratch, like sculpting it, it's pretty hard. I mean, but creating this using a cell phone camera and a software for a dollar, you know, this cost me a dollar seventy-five. It's kind of cool. I mean, it's it's pretty bananas how far we've come as far as you know realisticness. So this right here, oh, there's a little bit of hole right there, but that's okay. So let's rotate it again. Just try to get a good, you know, like good angle on it. Probably like that. That looks good. And we'll take a photo of that for the thumbnail looks cool I mean it doesn't match the environment because we got this from like the forest ish path in Lake Tahoe but for the sake of this demonstration again in less than 30 minutes you can create this absolutely photo real rock for your uh, scenes let's see how close we can get with this Yeah, it's pretty close. That looks so cool. You know, maybe have a foreground and a background like that. We'll have the foreground blurred out. Check our rule third. That looks good. So let's go ahead and crank this screen percentage to 200. And let's see if we can do a screenshot from here. Two is okay, so we don't crash. And just like that, we have a rock. That's pretty much it, guys. That is how you create photorealistic CG assets using your phone and reality capture so you can use it in Unreal Engine 4 or 5. So you want to make a movie in Unreal Engine 5, but you don't know how. Today is your lucky day. How to make a movie in Unreal Engine 5 by JS Films. Out now.